Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Planet Crafter, the game where we've been turning this veiny looking testicle planet from a barren Martian looking red planet into a lush green one with plants and water as well as a very fancy looking bridge. What a feat of engineering that is. Now you may be asking yourself, Matt, you're just a civil engineer. How did you achieve such a magnificent feat? Well, dots around this planet are loads of resources like iron and more iron. And using things like wind turbines and solar panels, as well as a ton of nuclear power plants, I was able to build things like baby drills, mummy drills, and even daddy drills to create pressure in the atmosphere, as well as building some very efficient heaters to add heat, and also constructing these water spreaders that sort of look like a malfunctioning R2-D2 to create super efficient grass. And what does super efficient grass need? It needs a super efficient chode base, uh, which we will be expanding longer as we need it. Now, as you can see here, this is all the oxygen, the heat, the pressure, the biomass, how much they're increasing per second. And when you add all of these up, you get this, the terraformation index, which is always in the top right of my screen. And basically, as the planet gets more terraformed, you go from current stage, which we're currently at flora, which means there's like plants growing everywhere. The next stage will be trees. As you can see, we are nearly there. Now, in my base, I've got a few more heaters. I've got oodles of storage lockers filled with resources. I've got a very, very strong looking trophy. As well as this very cool dome, which is definitely not just for aesthetic looks of the base. As you can see in here, it gives us tree bark. And then combined with loads of other resources, we can build all sorts of machines that help us terraform the planet. But more importantly, they help us harvest eggplants because I have an addiction. Anyway, today our aim is to get to the tree stage, as well as increase our eggplant pile. And to do that, first off, we're going to need to build one of these, a gas extractor. So if I just grab the resources I need from my storage lockers, so that's two zeolite, three super alloy, and I need an iridium rod. So assuming I have nine, which I do, I can come over to this machine here where I can turn those nine into a rod. Hmm, roddy. Now we can come outside, we can jump down here... And then we can build the gas extractor. So we'll plonk that there. And again, that's a very efficient looking thing as well. You can see if we click on it, this is going to create us methane cartridges. So whilst that's doing that, I'm going to head to my caves and grab some uranium. So that involves heading along here. It's quite a long journey. But with the power of editing, we are here in seconds. So we can come over to this. This is a drill I've got going on. You can see it's dual tipped. And if we click on this storage locker, you can see it's extracting uranium from the ground, as well as some other minerals. So we'll grab all of that. We'll drop all the resources we don't want, and then we'll head back to our base. Hopefully not before we run out of oxygen, because that's quite low. It's okay, we're back inside. We're regening our oxygen. And then we can see our eggplants have grown, so we can tend to those, which just involves taking the eggplant out and then replacing it with a seed. So that little baby one is growing. Then we just repeat for all of these eggplant growers, add more eggplants to the pile, and then we're good to go again. <laughs> There's so many eggplants. All right, so if we jump back down, hopefully we have some methane now. So over to this. Yes, we've got two cartridges. So we'll grab those, head back up the stairs to our base, which takes forever. <laughs> I definitely don't regret building my base up here, though. It's, it's important to be higher than the floodwaters. And then over here in this machine, we can combine three algae and three water bottles to create a bacteria sample. So we'll do that twice. And then we can create a mutagen with a bacteria sample, a methane cartridge and some sulfur. So we'll do that twice. And now in our inventory, we have two mutagens. So if we come out here and we hop down onto our rocket launch pad, a seed spreader rocket, which gives us a thousand percent oxygen multiplier. We just need to combine these other resources and wonder why everything's gone blue. Why is everything blue? But anyway, after that distraction, we need to make a list of what we need. So we need rocket engine, super alloy, tree bark, and bacteria. We can do all that. To get bacteria, we need algae, of course. So I'm going to come under here because there's loads of algae growing, which I can just grab. We're also going to need some water, and these create water from the atmosphere. So we can come up to these. We can take four and take four out of that one as well. We can then head back up to our base again where we can store things that we've just collected, like the sulfur in the appropriate locker, as well as grabbing a rocket engine or two, craft the bacteria in the biolab, 
And then hopefully we have everything we need to craft a rocket or two. Damn it, I forgot the tree bark. So back up again <laughs> into the right nut of my base where we can grab some bark. And before we head down, we're going to check what the oxygen rate is now. So it's 12,800 ppq per second. Now, commenters, people saying... Oh, uh, you don't know units. You don't know your Greek alphabet. You're not an engineer. Me, 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 me. I've got news for you, people, because you're obviously studying engineering or something at this time that you're writing this comment. In engineering, you don't really use, like, NPA and micro Ks and, you know, all the letters. Like, yes, you might use that in your day-to-day -day study of the job. But when you're on job, you literally just, like, you stick with, like, standard units. And then you just do, like, times 10 to the minus 6 or times 10 to the 12 or, you know what I mean. You tend to, like keep a constant unit but then just change your number to suit if that makes any sense we're gonna craft one of these a seed spreader rocket so there she blows oh it's got it's got a pineapple in it we've got a pineapple in a rocket we're gonna launch it into space and then quickly build another one to see what happens and it's gonna spawn while that one's launching and it's gonna be carnage or is it okay no it's carnage let's launch the second one and see what happens <laughs> Oh dear! <laughs> ah, big burn. Um, the other one. Are you taking off? You're not really taking off. <laughs> that definitely wasn't my fault. Right. Okay. Two successful launches. Let's go check what that oxygen number was. Now it was twelve thousand eight hundred. So let's go see what the screen says now. <gasps> Twenty-five thousand six hundred. That's pretty good. Although 2,000% rockets, it only doubled. But look, the value is going up very nicely. So we're, we're a bit closer to getting some trees on the planet. Now, if we check our power consumption, you can see we're using 2,200 kilowatt per hour. Yeah, our production is 2,380, so we can't actually build that many more machines. We only have 178 kilowatts available. So I'm going to see, do I have enough resources in my radioactive do not put locker to create another uranium rod? Yes, I do. So we'll grab nine of those. We'll come over to this machine where we can craft a uranium rod out of those uranium ores. Look at it. And now we have three uranium rods, which if we combine with three waters, a super alloy and explosive powder craft, then we can jump out here, grab three water bottles as well as drinking one for myself. Then over here, we can craft another nuclear reactor. Yes. Which means now we've got 500 kilowatts free. Meaning if we just create some more biomass, we can unlock the tree spreader. And we should have lots of energy to do that. So we need things that give us biomass. Tell you what then, perhaps we can build a biomass rocket, which increases the multiplier by a thousand percent. And then I'll build flower spreaders as well. So we need super alloy fertilizer. I've already got two fertilizers here, but how do I make more? Algae, sulfur, oh, and eggplants. I have those. So we'll grab a few of you guys from the edge and then we'll craft some fertilizer and then we'll find our best plant seeds. So if we press this button here, it puts them into order. So we got 150, 200, 300. These are the ones I want, the seed tusker. They're 400% multiplier for oxygen. And then we'll jump downstairs. <gasps> We've just hit tree stage though. Yes. The next stage is insects. Ooh, insects. I literally think this game is like still in early access. I don't think there's actually insects in the game, only trees. Anyway, I think we need to get the biomass up so we can get the tree spreader rocket, etc. So let's build a flower spreader T2, shove it there-ish, and then shove the seed tusker inside. Do that a few more times. And look, you can see the little seed tuskers are growing into tusker plants. Then you can see biomass is up to 26, which means this number is going up very slowly still. So let's just check what we need for the biomass rocket. Oh, we actually have everything. We just need a seed lerma and tree bark. So here's the tree bark. Do I have any seed lerma? I don't think I do. However, I know where I can get one. It involves making our shaft a little bit smaller. Because I can come to the end of these, I can deconstruct this grass spreader. Sorry, mate. Back over to the launch pad. Let's get the biomass rocket. 
There she is. What's going to be in the middle? Ooh, it's a load of vines underwater. Okay, let's launch that bad boy. And of course, I want to try and get on this rocket myself. Yes, we're on. See you later, suckers. <laughs> oh, I love doing this. This literally never gets old. Nice. So you can see how much we've terraformed the land. Oh, you can see my bridge. You can see my bridge from up here. That's so cool. But yeah, very, very green down there. All right, there we go. The rocket has gone. You can see my base from above this time. Previously, we'd only seen it from below. So that's quite nice, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> The biomass number is doubled. It has doubled, but it's still barely moving. Oh, 64 is going to take so long. Tell you what, I'm going to cheer myself up by tending to my eggplants again. Right, I've just uh, collected some algae again, and the moon's black. I don't like it when the moon goes black. Oh, look, and that How many moons are there on this planet? Oh, there's another one there. <laughs> anyway, I got the algae so that I can combine it with some sulfur, although we are nearly out of sulfur. Yeah, so that I can build some fertilizer, lots of fertilizer, which then means I have enough resources to head out in the storm again. Oh god, I nearly died. Oh, I don't have any food on me. Oh, poo. <laughs> anyway, hopefully I have time to quickly build another flower spreader, shove a seed tusker in it, and another one. Seed tusker. And then quickly get upstairs before we do- <gasps> There's a tree! There's trees! We've got trees. Ah, i got to get upstairs before I die. Quick. Man, I'm usually running to my base because I'm lacking oxygen, not lacking eggplant. All right, come on, come on, come on. Press the wrong button. There it is. Eight. Oh, that was close. Okay, we're good. That's nearly touching the ceiling. <laughs> we have so many. Yeah, but now, is the number moving any quicker? It's sort of moving a bit quicker. Oh, I'll tell you what number isn't moving quickly. That is ridiculous. All right, let's have a look in here. How close are we to all the upgrades? So there's only four upgrades remaining on this. So nuclear fusion generator, 750. We're at 650. That's not far off. Uh, the tree spreader T3, 79 GTI. We're only at three. Wow. I mean, I can understand why that is the T3 one. I assume we'll definitely do the T2 beforehand. And then the fusion energy cell, 578. <laughs> Oh, it's going to take so long. I literally could just leave this running for like three days and I'll probably get it without any effort. But I feel like we've got some grinding to do. So I might leave it there for today, guys. Uh, you'll probably catch me on stream playing this at some point because it is one of those sorts of games where you've got to grind. I sort of, I want to make my bridge bigger as well. I want to make it wider. Yeah, but the good news is we actually have trees. Really, really big trees. So I will say peace, love and a massive, massive pile of eggplants. Bye, guys.